Steve, we are two and a half years into Mike Babcock's tenure as the Toronto Maple Leafs coach, and the shine seems to be uh, wearing off a bit. The media, the fans, they're on his back over, you know, line deployment, over, you know, how he's, how he's playing, the, the playing style that he wants for his team to play. How do you think he's reacting to it? He's not reacting well. Mike's not the kind of guy who reacts well to second guessing of any kind. Well, I'll tell you a story. The other day I was talking to him about Mitch Marner and William Nylander and right. how they're, you know, they, their games have tailed off in my, in my view this year and they've gone from like 35th in league scoring to, to 75th in league scoring. And, and all of a sudden I'm in the hallway doing a radio interview and I'm on my cell phone and there's a tap on the shoulder. And who is it? It's Mike Babcock. He wants to tell me something. He actually wants to tell me that Nylander has more points after 45 games than he had last year. And he's trying to tell me this while I'm on the radio. And I'll tell you, you don't see Mike, A, in the hallways. No. B, you don't see him, you know, outside of his office or in his press conferences. You don't get any sort of one-on-one -on -one time with him. So clearly, he's feeling what's going on. And he's trying to sort of send the message that he's okay and his decisions will be fine. At the same time, you wonder if, if you know, people have a point, you know, what, why not experiment in the middle of the season? Why not, you know, change this line, that line, this defense pair, that, that dis defense pair? Because when it becomes playoff time, I mean, you got to kind of stick with what you know. It's not experimenting. I think that's coaching. Yeah. And a lot of coaches that I've been around over the years, they will, they will put together two thirds of lines and then they'll interchange the third guy. Well, Mike doesn't like to do that. He likes to have his three guys out there. And right now you've got uh, Nazem Kadri and yes. Leo Komarov and Patrick Marlowe together. Kadri has one goal in 17 games. Komarov has one goal in 20 games. Clearly the line's not working right now, and yet every night they're out there together. You know, there's going to come a point where I think Lou Lamarillo or somebody's going to say to him, you know what, Mike, it's time. Yeah, you would think that someone would step in, but overall it'd be great to get into the mind of Mike Babcock and see exactly how he views the world. For Steve Simmons and Post Media, I'm John Mattis.